Watch this! You asked for it. Hello there. <laughs> sure, we'll just keep this whole hand. This is the dream. Ruffle doing the Murloc quest with Mildex? Yeah. I gotta get it done somehow. This is the only way I know how. If you don't take damage, you will be okay. Try to implement this method while playing. I'll see if I can do that too. That's interesting. Got him, chat. He was so dumbfounded by my comment he couldn't think of a witty response. Yeah, you really got me. You showed me all right. <laughs> Bold strategy indeed. Is this going to be one of those large priests I've been hearing so much about? I sure hope so, because uh, we farm that deck. Hey, this is the card that we've been struggling to draw every single game, so how can we lose? Whoa, two combo pieces already? That's probably too many. They prefer to go by horizontally challenged priests. Well, I don't care what they care or what they choose to go by. Death does not scare me. You've got to be kidding me. It's my one weakness. Good thing I'm drawing these combo pieces. I take everything I said back. I need to draw into Vargoth now or I lose. I think this deck is called Fat Pastor. Um, it does, oh my god, it's combo. I need to not die for a little bit, but fortunately I've got this um, this card. Of course it's I might coin out the Frost Nova. Ray of Frost works instead. I don't think I need to freeze that one. Freezing potion is nice. Order lull. Uh, but basically I just need to keep this frozen for a few turns to prevent myself from getting murdered. Is it Raza Chain Gun? No, it's in, it's Inner Fire. Yeah. I do have Doomsayers. Like, I've got a lot of minions that aren't Archmage Vargoth, but, like, the risk is quite large. Frozen Forever? Yeah, that's the game plan, at least. We've certainly got some freezes. It's an awfully big risk you have there, Rafflegasm. Yeah. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> I would very much like that never to hit me in the face. I need to go deeper, Gregasm. I hope you get Shatter. I don't want Shatter, because I don't want that to die. Um, I want Polybor off of the Magic Trick, or just regular Polymorph off of the Primordial Glyphs. They actually made it easier for you, now you only have to freeze that one? Yeah. It, um, I think that there needed to be a, a splitting of threats, but like also, depending on the resources that you have in hand, you may not have that as just like an option. I'm probably going to have to uh, freeze this board just to prevent healing from the... Nope, there's no way to prevent healing. If the opponent has Circle of Healing, they're just going to mill themselves. <laughs> just silence your own Death Lord so that you can attack. It's that easy. Draw two cards, I go up to nine. That's fine. And then I Frost Nova. One of these days I'll draw into uh, Vargoth. Um, actually, so this is one, this is six minions on the opponent's side, eight. The opponent will draw eight cards if they Circle of Healing. Is it better or worse to give them more cards here? With the Radiant on board, I think it's worse because most of those cards are going to be playable anyway. Like, I already have enough ways to mill the opponent. I don't need help from Northshire Cleric here. I just need them not to draw it into things that, uh, that get scary. Hey, Blue Train. No, another one? No. No. I don't want another one. Baby Rage. I 
So I can play this first research project. Nerfed card. No. So, Frost Nova is a thing that has to happen again. What if I just do Nova, Ozen at 6 and then play the banana? I need to get quest progress too. Running out of freezes? Not really. I mean, these are just more freezes, right? I've still got two blizzards left in my deck. I'm not I'm not worried here. I just need to hit the like the Vargoth is the last uh, combo piece that I need. So if I complete the quest in a turn or two, I'll be fine. I could even like break the the Death Lord into the Vargoth if I have the uh, the quest completed. So it's probably better just to get the the quest ready to go. Quest Mage is fun and interactive. Um, are we watching the same game? I should buff the opponent's minions for like extra BM. Six nine, nice. Why would you heal that? It was perfect already. This is not the twin spell one, so I am going to need another freeze effect, I think. Yeah, well that's all of the inner fires, so that can only hit me for eleven. Hey, there's, there's a card. Uh, I actually want this dead, so it's not really even BM. I just like need minions off the board so that I can um, have board space for the combo. And put this here. Well, that solves one problem. Or do I want the extra freezes? Well, I don't need the extra freezes now. I just want this out of hand so that I can draw more freely with the uh, the research project. I wonder if I play this because it gives me an opportunity to top deck um, Vargoth for lethal. I have 10 cards left, so probably not. Because I'm likely just going to play the research project into... Uh, it costs zero. I know it costs zero, but I can't play it if I top deck Vargoth, which means I can't complete the quest next turn. So it, it was absolutely worth considering even though it costs zero. Death Ward's been working out? Yeah, a lot. And they also have lots of extra arms. Oh, that makes our lives easy. Hey, Raph! Thank you for that sub. With Twitch Prime two months in a row. Appreciate that continued support. It says, Ravel, you are the reason I started Wild and hit Legend last three seasons. Love ya. Congrats, that's awesome. Uh, but I can't take credit for that. That's all you. Thank you for the support. And I love you too. Okay, let's uh, complete the quest. We're gonna freeze... This? Freeze this. Freeze this. I don't need to uh, polybore it yet. I have another uh, research project, right? So I don't need this one. I just need to find, well, that is in fact my last research project. So that one I need to keep. Pink face. Yep. As soon as we draw the Vargoth, we win, but it has to be like, we have to draw it for turn. I don't want to ping the Radiant Elemental because there is still a second Northshire Cleric. I don't. Again, yes, I'm a mill deck, but I don't want the opponent to generate additional resources that I could... See. Whoa! I was not expecting that. I realize that the ice block is still up, but a lot of people are still running secret hate. Are we going to lose this? 13, 18, 20. I think we actually polyboard this one to um, make the block pop a lot more awkward. 
So then it goes seven, because otherwise it's uh, 13. Yeah. I mean, I'm not terribly concerned about getting popped at one. I'm terribly, I'm a little bit concerned about just like dying here to secret hate. If they're running Lothab, there might be secret hate in the stack. Why not Blizzard and Doomsayer next turn? Well, because Blizzard costs 11 mana. Also, this gives me the opportunity to, because the Doomsayer is going off if the opponent wants to pop the block, right? Or not. If the Doomsayer went off, it was reasonably likely to hit the Vargoth and then I just win. Okay. No secret hate. Uh, we just get to set the blizzard here. Cold light into blizzard. We hit the Varga, so we win next turn. I would probably have conceded out of frustration if I was the opponent. I think it would be justified. This is pretty obnoxious deck we're playing. I'm out of cards. Oh, good. They made it really easy to uh, to mill them here. I need to go fast, though, because the opponent might concede. I could wait one turn. I just explained the reason why I played the Doomsayer there, and it was, it was correct. So <laughs> I'm not going to get into it. Like, it gave me an opportunity to pull the Vargoth and win the game the very next turn. With very little risk involved. Darkest Arrow Warlock I've seen? Yeah. Oh wait, I need to unturn still. Behold. We're gonna get the maximum fatigue damage off of this too. Behold. It sure was a misplay not uh, saving that Doomsayer, right? It really mattered. Because clearing the board was important when we just freeze it every turn. Behold, Jet. Behold. When it's at negative 50? Behold maximum BM. Yeah, I don't think we needed all the this Vargas or the Dracari Enchanter. Negative 108. We did it. I don't think I want the Oracle, but I'll probably keep the magic trick just to fish for like removal. I don't think I played on one when I'm facing a shaman that like, I don't know what his deck is. He did keep the leftmost card, so it could be either quest, but I think I want more information before making a decision there. Yeah. So now we can take it slower. I think I still do play the, um, the Primoglyph on two here. Research project is good. I'm just going to play it. Job done. I want more cards for next turn. How do I kill my opponent with this deck? Lots and lots of fatigue damage. So far, our record is negative 143, I think it was. Research into research stonks. 
Oh man, I love the Stonks meme. Am I alone in that? This is good. Of course it's the right way. I'm just gonna freeze that. We're recycling really hard. We might be able to combo quickly. Um, getting that out of hand like allows us to um, not get like gross trades happening. So Doomsayer Ping is the efficient play here. That sets up for a Cold Light or a Gold turn. The ball is fine. What does this get me? Jade? No. What was that? I didn't even get a chance to see what it was. Witchwood Imp. Thank you. More card draw. Ooh, let's get this down first because this is conditional card draw, right? If I draw the um, like ice block into ice block off of this, it's pretty bad. So I want to get the scientist down early. Well, the opponent uh, successfully completed the quest before we did. Also, they have about 16,000 cards in their hand. Uh, we can overdraw. Lothab is probably our primary concern. I'm actually tempted, like, I'm hesitant to overdraw the opponent because I'm so close to the combo already. Eh, two out of six? Maybe not. Let's see what we get off of this. Doomsayer? Sure. Let's uh, overdraw them. Hey, there's the other research project. Okay, they're Jade. I need to I need to see about burning a Lothab somewhere. That's my biggest concern. That's not Lothab. Yep. I don't think I need to Nova Doom here. I think Blizzard is just fine. Uh, let's see what we get off of this, though. This. this is zero mana. I mean, one is effectively zero. Of course it's the right way, yeah. I need to save this one. This is my combo. There's no need to Doomsayer here. Set up for the blizzard next turn. I see <laughs> this gets bounced, we probably lose. Is that, uh, is that the combo? Hold on. No, I need the Molten Reflection. I want to complete that. Play out the Doomsayer. Next turn, I can go Blizzard into AI, and that should guarantee it. I'm going to hit here to set up the Blizzard turn. Shutterwalk beats us still. Ball's fine. Golems are a girl's best friend. Oh, I should have left the board full. Photonic burst. Okay. As long as there's no shutter walk, we win. There's seven cards left in the opponent's deck. I should have left the board full, and that would have uh, guaranteed it here. Nope, we win. Unless there's Zola into Lothab. That's another potential out for the opponent. Yep. 
should be enough to kill him. Pretty sure that this is more than enough damage to get there. We'll see how much uh, damage we can do again. Missed attack, yeah, but it just doesn't matter. Behold! So the opponent. We didn't mill Shutterwalk, did we? So the opponent might have had it in hand, but maybe the greed uh, cost them. Rummaging Cobalt, what is this deck? It's Jade, uh, Jade Shaman. You uh, use the Cobalt to get more Jade Claws. Or he just, yeah, it's, it's one of those two, obviously, but um, there's also like, the fact that the opponent didn't know what our combo was, so there's like, not necessarily incentive to play it when we just had the block up anyway, and so the following we would have just won on the back swing. So I think it was probably a win either way. This overkill, not even as much as last time. We didn't even get like half as much as last time. Behold, shut. Behold. All right, let's swap decks. Um. If you want the, the deck, I'll bring it up. I'm going to get some water. 